Hello, my name is Amanda Verga. I'm Willa Brosnahan. And I'm Nathaniel Kirby. Hello and welcome to the KFAN Climate Crisis Action Meeting. We would like to first thank Town Green 2025 and the Associated Clergy of KFAN for organizing this meeting. We would also like to thank Susan Hogue for inviting us to speak here tonight. As you all know, climate change is a crisis that threatens our future on Earth. However, as we are gathered here tonight to discuss what we can do about it, it is important to remember that climate change is not merely an approaching crisis, but a current reality already transforming many people's lives. The young people of Cape Ann are noticing the changes. Beaches are being eroded by stronger storms and higher tides. Good Harbor in particular looks strikingly different than it used to when we were younger. For the past few years, Gloucester High School has had more flood days than snow days because the canal breaks its banks after heavy rain or snow, flooding the parking lot. People's homes flood too, and I see my peers posting GoFundMes on social media to help handle the financial burden. This summer, swimming at our beaches, I noticed that the water was notably warmer than it has been in the past, a change that is jeopardizing the local maritime ecology and the lobstering trade. As we face these changes, it is important to remember that many of the people who will be the most abruptly and intensely affected by this change are not here tonight. They are out on fishing boats, they are working late, they are taking care of their children or grandchildren. We need to make sure that those voices that are not present here tonight are included in this conversation and actively engaged in creating solutions. All of us are absolutely essential in the process of mitigating the economic and ecological ramifications of climate change as they become increasingly more evident in our community. While the climate crisis is already making its mark and the physical, economic, and cultural changes we will see from a shifting climate are unavoidable, we still have the opportunity to influence the direction of this change and to better prepare for it. We can cut our carbon emissions by reducing our energy usage, increasing our energy efficiency, and making the switch to renewable energy sources such as wind and solar. We can develop resilient infrastructure to be prepared for the effects that are already underway. We can help prepare citizens for the economic changes that will occur due to ecological changes. We can educate voters and bring this issue to the ballot box in local, state, and federal elections, holding our representatives accountable when it comes to climate change. Stopping the further progression of climate change requires more than just the action of Cape Ann residents. But what we can accomplish here can help initiate bold action elsewhere. We no longer have time to wait for national action. We must do what we can here and now. As a coastal community, Cape Ann needs to become a national leader in this effort. We need to present a model that engages all of our citizens in finding solutions and preparing for the current and future impacts of global climate change. My generation is coming of age with the ever-present feeling that they are living in the before. This is the before everything changed from the dystopian books we read when we were younger, the prologue to collapse. If nothing is done, our world will become drastically and irrevocably different from the one we know. But this is also the before it is too late. It is the time to act quickly, intelligently, and together. When our leaders fail us, the onus is on us to affect change from the ground up and protect our communities and ecosystems. It is the time to set our eyes on the future of Cape Ann for the sake of Cape Ann's children. Thank, thank you again for being here tonight and working to protect our environment. Now we would like to hand the microphone back to our host, Shane 